Alright, so, I actually did it. I invited Figure 03, yeah, the new humanoid robot from Figure, into my home for a full day. No engineers, no tech crew, just me, this 5-foot futuristic house guest, and a list of chores that I absolutely hate doing. And let me tell you, it was weirdly human. The first thing it did when I turned it on? It looked around. Not in that creepy, red-eye Terminator way, more like it was genuinely trying to understand the room. Its head tilted, eyes flickered, and you could actually hear the little hum of its new Helix AI system processing everything. This thing isn't just reacting, it's reasoning. Helix basically lets it see, hear, and think about what it's doing. So when I told it, hey, can you load the dishwasher? It didn't just walk over and start clanking dishes around like a toddler. It analyzed the space, picked up a plate like it was handling glass jewelry, and carefully slid it in. Now, these hands deserve their own fan club. Figure 03's fingers have built-in tactile sensors that can feel 3 grams of pressure. That's the weight of a paperclip. I actually tested it. I put one in its palm and the robot paused, adjusted its grip and said, Object detected. I don't even trust some humans with my coffee mug, and this robot's here holding fragile stuff like it's sacred. Next, laundry time. I tossed a pile of wrinkled shirts on the couch just to see what would happen. Figure 03 paused for a moment, almost like it was thinking, then started folding. Not perfect, but scarily close. It even noticed when one shirt slipped off and gently picked it back up. The coordination here is wild. It's not just following pre-programmed moves, it's learning as it goes. He Helix AI is basically like giving ChatGPT a body, except this one can actually move stuff. It learns from every mistake, every towel it drops, every shirt it folds. It remembers, and that's how it gets better. Then came the part I didn't plan for. It noticed some crumbs on the counter and just went for it. I didn't ask it to clean, it decided to. It grabbed a towel, wiped the counter, rinsed it, and set it to dry. Like, what? That's when I realized, this isn't a robot waiting for instructions. It's a system observing, adapting, and acting in real time. Later in the day, it walked over to the corner and stood perfectly still. For a second, I thought it froze, until I saw the blue glow under its feet. It was charging itself. Wireless, inductive charging, 2 kilowatts of power, no cables, just steps onto a mat and refuels. That moment hit different, because this means no downtime. It can literally live in your house, working all day, recharging when it's tired, just like a human, but without the nap breaks. Now, is it perfect? No, it's not folding laundry faster than me, yet, and it did get confused by a reflective bowl once, stared at it like it had found another robot. But the thing is, every figure 03 out there sends its experiences back to a massive cloud network through this 10 gigabit millimeter wave data offload. So every time one robot learns something new, all of them learn it. That's not just smart, that's terrifyingly efficient. By evening, it stood near the window, still as a statue, just watching the city lights. And I swear for a second, it felt like it was thinking. Not calculating, not computing, thinking. If you told me a year ago that I'd spend an entire day living with a humanoid robot that could talk, learn, feel touch, and charge itself, I'd have laughed. But here we are. Figure 03 isn't some sci-fi dream anymore. It's the beginning of something that's already inside our homes. So yeah, I invited Figure 03 over for a day. And now my only question is, when does it move in permanently? Because I'm not folding another towel again.